This computer-driven machine is cutting and punching a section of sheet metal that's going to be a basic part of a common household appliance that's found in almost every home in America. Can you guess what it is? It's a refrigerator. We're gonna go back to that factory in Laverne, Tennessee, where KitchenAid is building this exact refrigerator. You're gonna see step-by-step step how they go together and what's the important points you need to watch for when you pick out your next refrigerator because you're probably gonna have it in your kitchen for at least 20 years. It all starts with this giant machine called a Salvanini machine in a totally automated process. The machine takes raw sheet metal that's been cut into squares and transforms it into all the parts that make up the outer cabinet of the refrigerator. Wanda Gannon, a process technician at the KitchenAid factory, was elected by her coworkers to show us the process. Yeah, once you've got your raw sheet metal and it's programmed to take the sheet metal through the whole operation, when it exits the machine at the end of the line there, uh, it'll be a finished product. The sheets that will form the front, back, and sides of the refrigerator are stacked in the tower, and the machine feeds them out in sequence, the top, the bottom, the right, and left sides, and the back. All the parts for a single unit are made at one time. The precise cutting and bending instructions for each panel are programmed into the machine. With amazing speed and precision, the machine makes dozens of punches and cuts in exactly the right places. As the panels move through the process, the ends are crimped and bent to precise measurements so they'll fit together perfectly. Okay, Michael, what, what this actually does, this is the back of the actual cabinetry. Like I said, this thing does the punches, it does the bends, it does the folds. It, it forms from the raw material the entire cabinetry of the unit. Wow, that's and quick. Boy, that's is, nice, too. That's Everything's right. square. That's right. And it, it, it is precise. Absolutely precise. And now it's just a piece of sheet metal just a minute it's ago. It's a piece of sheet metal, and it forms, it. like I said, it, these are backs. Uh, you'll see coming out of the machine, there's, a, there's also a side coming out, so it forms the entire cabinetry of the, of the unit. So you finish one complete refrigerator cabinet before you do the next one? Right. Okay. One complete. Here it comes. When the machine is done, all the pieces of the refrigerator are ready for assembly and the cabinet begins to take shape. All the openings and cracks are sealed and the cabinet is prepared for the interior liner. On a side assembly line, the liners for the inside of the refrigerator and freezer are also built from scratch. This machine, called an Omada, is computer controlled and any design changes that need to be made to the liners can simply be programmed into the computer and the changes are made immediately. Wanda, it looks like they start with another piece of sheet metal again. What are they building here? Uh, they're making the inside of the refrigerator. You, you will recognize this side of the liner. So that's the interior this of the refrigerator. This is your interior refrigerator. They have the extrusion hose that that's what that operation does do. Um, the reason they're kind of pacing this up now is eventually this will go through the foamer operation as a very high pressure operation. And you kind of gotta, you gotta keep the foam bleeds out because it does expand. And we've got other things where these holes are for shelves or the other interior parts of uh, your refrigerator. At this point, the automation stops and the people take over. So in the other machine, when they were doing the exterior casing, they were doing it mainly by machine, but here there's a lot more people involved. Right, more. this is this is people, you've got your people involved now. You're gonna see your people take charge of your material and your finished goods now. As you can see, uh, right now they're bending, bending a refrigerator liner. It's, it's starting to take its shape now, and I know you'll recognize it in a few moments. That's to be the inside of your refrigerator. The liners are formed and sealed and as they get to the end of this line, they are ready to put into the cabinet. At this point, a specially molded piece of trim is installed. This is one of those little design details you probably wouldn't notice unless it was pointed out to you. This is what the one-piece liner looks like once the refrigerator is completely assembled. And as you can see between the freezer and the refrigerator, there's no lines or cracks. That means we won't have any food buildup and we won't have any bacteria growth start in this area. Now it's starting to look like a refrigerator. After an inspection, the cabinet moves off to be injected with a special insulating structural foam. The unit is heated to 120 degrees so the foam will flow smoothly. 
The foam fills all the gaps between the liner and the cabinet to make sure the refrigerator is solid and well insulated. And now it's time for some quality testing. In a specially built room in the factory, a laser guided robotic measuring machine checks units at random to make sure they're exactly the right dimensions. The machine can check the squareness of the refrigerators to within half a millimeter. And then if there's a problem, you just stop the line right, right then. And if it's a the problem, problem, we want to know it now. This machine costs half a million dollars, but it pays for itself by finding any problems in the production line at the earliest possible moment. A computer keeps track of all the measurements. Now it's time to begin assembling the rest of the refrigerator. The shelving brackets and braces go in. The condenser is prepared and the sealed refrigeration system is assembled and mounted on top. The electrical components are installed and the internal fan goes in. Now it's really starting to look like a refrigerator. All the little inside brackets are attached. The ice maker is assembled and the internal shelving is attached. On another production line, the doors are being assembled and the door hinge assembly is built. The doors are now easily attached to the unit. And it's time for the performance test. KitchenAid runs every refrigerator for six hours. Special temperature sensors are placed inside the freezer and refrigerator compartments to make sure the units are working perfectly. After the testing, the process is almost complete. Just a few final touches. Total time, from raw sheet metal to a finished and tested refrigerator, about 12 hours. All that's left to do now is box it up and send it off and possibly to build it into your new house. <laughs>